Mr Chair. Uh, Ian Lees Galloway. Mr Chair, just picking up on where Grant Robertson left off on Clause 10D, <clears throat> I think actually uh, calling, calling that uh, aspect of the bill interest by stealth is rather charitable uh, on, uh, on, on the Minister, because, because let's be honest, this is a flat fee regardless of how large your student loan is and regardless of what your income is. When you get that type of tax, Mr Chair, the word for that is a poll tax. That's, that, that is what that fee is. It is a poll tax on graduates and students, uh, and, and I think calling it interest by stealth is, is one word for it, but frankly is, is rather charitable. Let's, let's call it what it is. Uh, but Mr Chair, actually that's, that's not really what I wanted to focus on. I want to go back to the purposes, uh, and particularly uh, the, the purpose of this Act is to provide for the effective administration of student loans and to provide for the collection of student loan repayments. And I've got a question for the Minister, because I've got an example of, of a bizarre set of circumstances that occurred uh, to myself, actually, in relation to my student loan, and I wonder how often this happens. Uh, I completed repayments on my student loan uh, earlier this year. Uh, I, I, uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a day to celebrate, it has to be said. And, and I, uh, I checked with IRD, I got the repayment balance. Uh, I even got a letter from the IRD saying that my balance was zero. I had completely paid off my student loan. Strangely enough, only a few weeks ago, I got a letter from IRD informing me that I had to change my tax code back to MSL, as did payroll here at Parliament, and I started making uh, compulsory repayments of my student loan. I'm now $500 in credit. Uh, the IRD now owes me $500 uh, in, in overpayments on my student loan. I would hardly call that the effective administration of the collection of repayments by... by um, I, I don't expect a cheque from Peter Dunn. I've been reliably informed by the lovely person I spoke to at IRD when I finally got through to them, I have to say. Uh, but with the, the person, the person uh, who I spoke to was fantastic, and she assured me I will have that money back by October. Uh, so I'm very pleased that I'll be able to get that back. But I do have a question for the Minister. How often does this occur, that people who have organised themselves to make sure they have made the exact repayment required, uh, that they have have, they have um, faithfully and dutifully made the repayments that they need to make that they are required to by law, uh, then find that uh, through some error by IRD uh, that they, they have to overpay uh, and that IRD then has to, make re, uh, has to make a payment back to that person uh, due to the ineffective administration uh, of student loans. So given that that is one of the main purposes of this uh, bill, I'd be very interested uh, to hear from the Minister how often that happens uh, and if he has any plans to uh, rectify that situation. I call Gareth Hughes. Kia ora, Mr Chair. Namihi nui kia koutou. Kia ora.